Well, hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be tackling the number one and number two job of the day. So, um, this actually, the Thetford Recirculating Toilet came with our 3023 Trail Manor. And we had a lot of issues to begin with to get up and working because it was not one to recirculate. So, I just want to go and take some quick steps as to how to double check everything and make sure it's fully up and operational. So, the first mistake I made was... I did not fill up the gauge past, they want it past the little charge mark into the blue, which I don't know if you can really see there, we'll go really close. Um, I actually filled mine up a little bit more. Um, I'm one of those that I'd rather have more water in there than I need um, to help it recirculate, of course. Um, so that's the first thing you need to do is always make sure that that's actually the water levels up in appropriate levels. The next part is you wanna check your electricity. Uh, the first spot that I always start at is a, making sure that I do have power to the RV, which I do, of course. You hear my air conditioning running in the back. And then I actually first go to my little panel over here. Um, these are ATC fuses, so make sure that you get a 15 amp that goes with it that I originally came with. Um, and look at your individual device panel to make sure you can actually locate where it is on this side. Um, check the fuse, make sure it looks um, like it's not burnt between there and make sure it still has a good gap. And no burn marks on there. And if that looks fine, I then go to my next one. And believe it or not, it's another fuse. And this actually um, helped me out at the very beginning because um, I didn't know what to do. Um, literally, I, I checked all my other fuses, everything looked fine, but it's actually located underneath here. Um, you can see your pump back there at the back. Inside this little part right here, that houses another fuse. That's a five amp inline fuse. Um, I actually upgraded mine to a 7 amp, and it seems to be working well. Before, when I kept using the 5s, I mean, literally, I'd just do, and my fuse would burn out. So, this does allow for it to work a whole lot better um, in keeping with the 7 amp. So, make sure you um, double check, and it works. And um, as far as that goes, uh, the 7 amp fuse, or 5 amp fuse, make sure it's not burnt out either. I'm gonna go ahead and screw my thing back on here, but that's at least three tips to help you out in getting through this recirculating toilet. If that doesn't work, call your local expert because I'm not the expert in this. This is just from trial and error and messing up and asking a lot of people what to do with it. So thanks so much for tuning in and please be sure to like, share, subscribe. It would really help out if you gave me a comment or two to see if this is videos that help you or not. I'm gonna start producing this more and more as I keep going further and further into the trail manor remodel. Um, it's been a great, Endeavor doing this pop-up camper style. Um, we used to have a class ARV and it's actually getting back to the basics. So I, I really enjoy this. So um, once again, like, share, and subscribe. That helped me out a lot. Thanks so much.